G'day everybody, this is Mr. Oz Video 1985 here with a brand new video. This time around I am doing my end of the month um, DVD Blu-ray um, update for the month of June. It's going to be nearly the end of the month already. Um, I'm doing this video, it is only the 21st, I know it's still I'm a week away before the end of the month, but I am getting down with a cold, and so I want to get this video up, and most likely I will put this up probably next week, but I am getting trying to, I'm getting a cold, and so I want to get this video done before the onslaught with cold happens, but yeah. Um, as I said, I've got pr pretty um, good selection, pretty good snack, um, snack this, snack, um, selection this week, um, probably got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, probably 18 titles, one, um, 18 titles, so yes, I'll start off with a couple of the Roop Blu-rays, some of these I've already watched, first one is Independence Day, of course, with Will Smith, a very good uh, movie, you know, um, good disaster movie, not disaster, aliens come, come to invade, so yeah, Independence Day, open it up, just a little disc, I'll probably do a review on this soon, so yes. Um, special features, you've got Alien, Something Hunter, Gag Reels, um, Teasers, Trailers, and Trailer for Fantastic Four. Um, of course, this is from the same person film. This is from the same person who did um, 2012 in the day after tomorrow. So, yes. Independence Day. There. The next one is Toy Story, the first one. Um, a very good movie. I haven't seen this f for a long time. Uh, this is the Blu-ray and DVD version. So I, I, I think I've seen the first and the second Toy Story. I don't think I've seen the third one. So, open up. This here. Then you got the Blu-ray disc. And you got the just a special edition one here. Um, lots of special features in this in this one. You know, your commentary, um, all kinds of good things. It's the back of this as well. So, uh, so yes, Toy Story. I'll check this out soon. I'll check I'll check out this out soon, and I'll do a review for this. The next one I just picked this up yesterday is the 20, 2001 Space Odyssey. I think I've seen bits and pieces of it. I've seen this for a long time. Um, so yeah, 21 Space Odyssey. There's the Blu-ray. And yeah. Um, what I do is special features, commentaries, um, all kinds of good stuff. So I guess I'll check this out. So that's it for the Blu-rays. So we'll get on with the DVDs. First one is I've got. I just watched this last night. Is Sun Sunshine um, from the from Denny Boyle, director of the Transporters, and um, Twenty Eight Days Later. I seen this one. I I think I've seen someone's um, reviews or something like this. I thought it was a decent film. Um, Know about the dark, this is in 2050, 2057, and you know, this our sun is dying, so this crew has to put some kind of weapon into the sun so it's thin. The Indian's quite thin, but yeah, that's sunshine. Our um, next one is Battle Los Angeles. I thought this was a good film. I, I, I'd, re I'd really enjoy this, you know, all these space aliens. It's now, it's it's not a war. It's a survival. So yeah, I think I picked this up fairly cheap. I think I picked um in the 
in the um, one of the stores in Australia, I think it was Big W, had 25% or and 30% of the things I've had. And so I, I think I'll just fairly cheap anyway. I'm not quite sure. sure. That one's about $12, $15 in the so yes. Battle of Los Angeles. I probably will do a review on this one. Um, bunch of features behind the battle and prepare things. So yeah. There's supposed to be a sequel to this as well, so so Battle of Los Angeles. I'm very good not I just watched this a couple of days ago. Next one is District 9 from Peter Jackson presents a film by yeah, District 9 in this kind of metal steel kind of thing. Tin. Um, so yeah, here's the docket for it. Docket for it. Yeah, I got the. I got this through nine for nineteen it was twelve dollars eighty seven but I got it for nine dollars sixty five and um independence day actually was eleven dollars it was fifteen dollars and I got it for eleven dollars ninety four so pretty good deal so I haven't seen this one yet but I will um, watch and probably down the track I'll probably do more of a review of this. Next one is from the writer director JJ Abrams and pres produced by Steven Spielberg Super 8. I like this. Um, it, it was a very strange movie. Um, having the, all these bunch of kids doing film of themselves, then this big um, aggressive train trash and all other things. It was a very strange movie to me, but I did enjoy Super 8. And so, yeah. There's the Santa one. Nearly there. Our next one is The Darkest Hour, which is another kind of alien kind of um, thriller. Um, I haven't seen this, so yeah. Some of these I have seen, some of these I haven't. Some of these ones I've only got I think a couple of days ago, so that's why I haven't seen. So yeah, but we'll um, watch this one, and might think I may be review on this one. Um, next one is Spider-Man Three, um, because of course Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man comes out next month. Um, so and that are the three original ones I haven't. Had, this one that I haven't did get. Um, I did enjoy Spider-Man for the movies. Um, I think they were good. I'm going to go see The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, it's different because of this reboot in the series, so yes. Spider-Man 3. And next one is Ghost Rider. Sorry, Nicolas Cage. Um, I haven't seen this one yet. Um, so, yeah, it looks a pretty good nurse. A movie. Um, of course, it is the. They just made another one. This is already out on TV then already. So yeah, Ghost Rider. And if any of these films you have seen, um, if I've shown, if you do want me to do a review on any, any of those ones, I will. If not, I'll just do my I'll just do it anyway. So yeah. If any one of these you have seen, please leave feel feel to leave a comment. And did you like it? How did you think? Um, the next one is. Lane of the Lost with starring Will Ferrell. I know this movie's got a lot of you know, people, a lot of people don't like this film. Um, I, I liked it. I did go see this at the cinema. I thought it was pretty funny. Of course, it is kind of like from the because it, Lane of the Lost was actually a TV show from the I think from the seventies. Um, and a lot of the characters in this one has been changed. Or they also did an updated version in the nineties. As well, so yeah. I thought it was a um a funny thing, you know, a bit silly and all that. So yeah, Land of the Lost. They got you know special commentary. You know, you got um deleted scenes, the day in the life of a big time big time movie star, and yeah, so things like that. Um, next one is Transformers Prime. Um, the Darkness Rising, 
or easily. Thing like that. And this is the has the five mini parts. This only was only released. Um, I think I got this yesterday. Watch yesterday, which was the twentieth when I'm doing this. Um, so yes. And they also released the the Transformers the Generation One thing. I think it was released yesterday as well, but I didn't see that one. So yeah. So I'll probably will pick them up. Yes. Transformers. Uh, next one is Sh um, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. Jude Law, Law is um, Sherlock Holmes: The Game of Shadows, which is an ex Um This is, you know, I want to go see it, but um, I think I only paid about fifteen dollars for this because it was an ex rental. I do have the first one on Blu-ray, so yeah. Next rental. So yeah. Uh, next thing is a TV box set or TV thing kind of thing is is the fourth season of The Simpsons. Yeah, four seasons of The Simpsons. There's just so many of these things to click, and they, the reason why I know I'm slowly getting them, but because I'm slowly running out of room, and I, I don't want to get a lot of them at once until I figure out. So yes, so plenty of special features. Like this as well. So Simpsons season four. Already got the third, th the first three seasons. So yeah. And the last couple of ones are Doctor Who ones. The first one is Doctor Who the. Attack of the Cyberman, of course, Colin Baker's story, Six Doctor. I thought it was, a, I did see this one, I thought it was a, a very good story. I know a lot of people don't even like Colin Baker, Colin Baker as the Doctor, but I've watched a few of them, and I think um, they were uh, pretty good. Next one is still in the wrapper, is the Doctor Who, it's another Six Doctor story um, of the Daleks. I haven't watched this one, but I'll go. Uh, next one is the fourth, fourth Doctor Joy, Doctor Who: The Nightman of Eton, starring good old Tom Baker. Still in the wrapper. Uh, and the other one is the new Doctor release for this month, well in Australia anyway, is the Ace Avengers, which has. Dragonfly, which I have, I did watch just recently. I thought it was pretty good story because uh, it introduces the Ace as the Doctor's new companion, and of course the other companion Mal leaves, and it called it the Happiness Patrol as well. So yes, that is my DVD Blu-ray. And Doctor Who update for June 2012. Uh, yes, and it, as you think, I have um, just on a personal note, if I, if I just um, have a new job now. Much I know it's been only a month ago I lost my other job. I'm in a new job now, getting pretty, pretty good money. And so, yes, yeah, some of these are fairly cheap anyway, so that's why I didn't. And some of these ones I've wanted to get it for a long time, but money wise and things like that, I just haven't given a chance. But thank you for watching this video. I'm already up to 14 minutes already. I think this is my first 14 minute video. Hopefully, everything will go well. Thank you to everybody who's um, come out and subscribed to my channel. I think I'm up to 74 subscribers already. Um, but you know, really, you know, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing good. Well, I will be doing more videos in the future. Um, more reviews and and things like that. So thank you for watching. If you, if you feel to leave a comment underneath, and yeah, if you have any, any of these movies you want me to review, I will review them. But some of these I will review myself. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up. Until my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Not forever. And I'll catch you next time.